Today, I wanna to show you how I use Notion for my side hustles to keep everything organized. People often ask me how I managed to fit in so much content production and like side hustle work alongside my full-time job as a creative director and staying organized is a big part of how I do that. Notion is my go-to hub for storing ideas for content, for future projects, for drafting scripts, for keeping track of the status of things with my VA. So let's dive in and I'll give you a tour through my Notion workspace. A huge thanks to Notion for sponsoring this video. I've been using the tool for years and so it was exciting when they reached out and wanted to partner in a video. If you haven't heard of Notion, it's a tool for team collaboration, but it works just as well if you're just like a team of one working on your side hustles and needing something for better project management. I used it by myself as a team of one for years and then in the past year I've been working in a shared workspace with my VA Chloe who helps me with content management and production. And the way I would describe Notion is it's a mix between Google Docs slash Dropbox paper and Trello or Asana. So you can create documents and write things and share them with people, but you can also track tasks and check the status of things and create workflows and things like that. So it's like all in one tool, which is very handy. And the whole point of it is that it's very customizable. So you can set it up in a way that suits you or, you know, suits a project because different projects have different needs and different people like to work in different ways. So let's jump in and I'll show you how I use it personally. So like I said, Notion is the hub for all of my side hustle work. Um, so I have a section for my videos. I have a section for my newsletter. I have a section for shorts and reels. This is like a fairly new content stream for me. Also I have a section for inside my marketing design, which is my interview series, as well as pages where I keep track of my stats for YouTube and Instagram. And all of this stuff here is within the shared workspace that I have with Chloe. So she can access them all too. She can update them or add things to it at any time. Chloe set up this Kanban board for my shorts and reels workflow because how it works is I create it and then she handles uploading and getting them published. So we have here this first section is ideas, which you'll notice is a common theme throughout many of my Notion databases. I really like it to keep track of my ideas. Before I started using Notion, I would just like jot down ideas in the notes app on my phone and then they would get lost amongst all of the other notes in the notes app on my phone. And so I like here that I have a clear place to go and leave them anytime a new idea comes up and I can add a new one in here just by clicking. Let's say we'll do a Notion in 60 seconds. Um, short or real. And now this is on the list for me to tackle when I want to. When I've made the video and it's ready for Chloe to tackle, I just move it over here into the ready to go section. And then when she has it uploaded and scheduled, she moves it over and through this workflow. And as you can see, she tags it with whether it's a short or a reel too. So I really like this. I can see what she's up to and what she's planning and I can step in and like leave comments to, for her to make changes if I want to, but it works really well for us. The video database works a little differently. I have this arranged in List just because I feel like I prefer it for some reason. But um, the great thing about Notion is you can essentially view all of these items in different ways. So if I wanted to add a Kanban board to move through, which would honestly be pretty helpful, I can come in here and click add a view. I can click board and we'll just call it um, progress, I guess. And we'll create that. And now we see here, I'm just gonna hide the no status column. Now we can see it goes from idea to planning to production to uploaded. Uh, we can see that workflow viewed in this way, or I could see it in my different lists that I had set up. I used to keep all of my video ideas in a Google sheet, which wasn't ideal because it wasn't as like malleable, wasn't as flexible. And also I just prefer how visual Notion is. I, I don't know, I could just never get my head around complex spreadsheet things, but Notion feels really intuitive to me. Um, I also like that any of these ideas here that are just added into the list, I can open it as a page and I can start typing my script in here if I want to, which is how I prefer to do it. I like to keep the plan for the video as well as the like schedule for the video in one place. It works out really well for me. I have three different table views for my videos. Upcoming is where I will add in new ideas. This is kind of like my dumping ground. And then when I really want to act on idea and when I have it like planned when I think it should go up, I'll add an upload date to it. And any idea that has 
an upload date added gets added to the schedule, which is arranged in like chronological order. So you can see sneak peek of some videos that I have coming up. And then once a video, once the status on it is changed to uploaded, it moves over here to the uploaded board. And I've done this just by filtering. This board just shows anything where the status is uploaded. This one only shows things that have an upload date. So an upload is not empty and status is not uploaded because I want to keep this just the upcoming schedule. Upcoming, the ideas dumping ground filters out anything that is set to the status of uploaded. So yeah, much better than the spreadsheet that I had before. Where it was just like one long never ending list of things. It was really hard to like move it around if I wanted to change the date of a video coming out. Yeah, much prefer this. But let's move on and let me show you how I handle my newsletter workflow in Notion because this was key for me and Chloe to keep up with the regular Monday cadence of releasing the Marketing Design Dispatch, which is my newsletter. Sign up at the link in the description if you're not ready. So this looks really empty and that is because I have filters set up here as well. We filter out anything that is marked as sent. I have two different views here. I have not sent yet and then I have sent. So this is kind of like an archive of all of the past issues and I tend to write the newsletter in Notion and then um, once the content is ready I will mark it as ready to send um, and that'll be in this not sent yet list so let me show you it in here so if I was finished with this issue we would mark it as ready to send and Chloe would then know that this is ready for her to copy and paste it into ConvertKit and get it all set up and ready to send as a broadcast I can also like in line like say if there was a note I wanted to make about this I can highlight and leave a comment to Chloe about it which is really helpful but it's handy having it in here in a place we can both access because it means she always knows what's coming up and if it's not marked as ready to send she knows that I'm still making tweaks to it and so she shouldn't copy and paste it yet and so it's really good workflow for us together instead of like I don't know me having to send her a doc each week and be like it's ready she just knows where to find it and it's always in the same place and then yeah we keep this view here really tidy so it's just the upcoming stuff or ideas for upcoming stuff and then this is our archive of the sent ones I've been really leaning on Notion for inside marketing design lately as well that interview series that actually episode one of season two would have just launched when this video is going out so yes you should go on over and watch that on the inside marketing design channel this series has been a lot of work especially in tracking my outreach to guests and then like the scheduling of it and all of that like just keeping on top of where each episode is in the pipeline and this has been my flow for it is I've added each um, company that I've reached out to or like investigated into this season two episodes um, table and then I move it through all these various statuses of where it's at so that I know these are the ones that are recorded these ones have booked an interview I've sent questions to these people but they haven't booked yet so I need to follow up and make that happen yeah it's been super helpful such a lifesaver for working through this like honestly much more complicated than I thought process of running an interview series I don't think I've showed you templates yet have I so let's go in and do this for looms because my initial call with Stu is this week so when I open up a page from this item I just have to click here into episode template for something that I set up previously and it generates this list of questions and like a structure for me pre-show call the interview and then any notes for editing so this is for me to make sure I get this information during the pre-show call this is my base template for questions that I will then tweak for each episode so I have this open while I'm doing the interview and running through it I also make notes during the call um, for editing and for the intro and outro so everything to do with the the content for this episode is here in one place and for this series in particular like it makes sense just to have one template but you can always in any like database in notion add a new template just click here go new template and whatever I type in here in this page or set up will become an option to have as a template for any new items that we add which is very helpful speaking of templates too there is lots of database template options that I highly recommend you look through if you're new to notion I did when I was first getting started and it really helped give me an idea of what was possible how other people are using it hopefully this video is helpful for you in doing that as well but yeah highly recommend you take a look at that a few last smaller things so as well as this shared workspace that I have with Chloe where she has access to all these things I also have my own 
own private workspace. Most of this stuff is just things that I already had set up before I started working with Chloe, but it's also things that Chloe isn't working on. So I like to keep it separate so she knows that everything in here is what she should pay attention to and um, this stuff isn't. And this is really like my ideas dumping ground. Every time I have an idea for a new project, like in this case, this portfolio course doesn't exist. There's no real plan for it to exist and happen at the moment. But every time I want to think about it, I like to come in and be able to jot down my ideas for it. You know, like I said, Notion is my hub for all of my ideas uh, and like for diving in and working on things when I feel like it. I have this one here for my book where I've got some little bits of writing, some ideas of things that I want to talk about, um, research that I've done, reading other nonfiction books and like taking notes, getting advice. This is also where I jotted down notes for different talks and workshops that I've run. So yeah, it's really like my ideas space. I think it's really important when you're working on side hustles to be able to capture an idea and be able to come back to it later to flesh it out whenever like the mood strikes. So keeping ideas organized is a really important thing for me. So that's an overview of how I'm using Notion as my side hustle hub. Lots of idea capturing and scheduling, status tracking, writing, all happening in one place. So if you want to try it out for your own side hustles or maybe even for your team at work, then you can create an account using the link in the description. It's free to try it out. So check it out. Let me know what you think. Hope this video was useful and it gave you some ideas for ways you could set up your own Notion workspace to manage your side hustles. It's just really important when you're working on things on the side of a full-time job that you can stay productive with it and always know what to work on next. And this setup helps me do that. Thanks for watching everyone. If you're new around here and you stuck around to the end, then please make sure you hit the subscribe button. You might as well. And then you'll see more videos from me. I make videos about life as a designer and creative director and side hustler and talk about design projects, productivity, lots of good things like that. So I hope you'll stick around and then I'll see you in the next video. Bye.